every single thing you experience in the world was an idea first. Mm. From this phone to the system of government that we live in, to the system of inflationary monetary, it's a it's a it's a belief system and an idea. And a lot of times entrepreneurs see a different idea and they build to a new belief system. And as a society understands that belief system and more and more people come on, the world changes. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing in Bitcoin today. It, more and more people. So you have a network effect on Bitcoin um, that is growing. Um, and it, if you've measured that network effect, you would look at where Bitcoin is today. Would you go back to 1998 in the in the internet? So so people misjudged what would come. Remember, Google didn't start till 2000. Facebook not till 2008. Most of the value, even though the internet as we know it launched in 1989, most of the value didn't come for another 10 years and then it started to explode. Mm. And most of the people that were talking about the internet at that time missed what was happening. Most of the global leaders at that time are no longer the global leaders. They've been replaced with new leaders who understood the power of the internet and built to it. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, the rest of it. So what, what was happening with technology? That's what Bitcoin is. That's what's happening on Bitcoin. It's actually matching that rate of growth of users and those, and call it that emergent belief system, all of us believing in something that can, can free our time and deliver a better society are onboarding at a rate that is matching the internet. And so if, if most of the value came after 10 years in, in the internet, as everything got, you could project just from that what's going to happen on Bitcoin over the next 10 years.